Okay. I was looking for a meaning and a purpose to my life. I was searching my heart for quite a number of years. I went to the Sunday school when I was young. My mum and dad were not Christians. Um, my mum and dad would fight and argue. I was quite I had a lonely childhood. Um, I wandered through life and then I entered my teenage years where I was um, promiscuous, shall we say, and uh, looking for love. And I went to the Channel Islands with my friend and um, started drinking. The drink was very cheap there and started smoking and uh, I um, got involved in relationships. Uh, came back from there and nearly had a nervous breakdown. Could have been an alcoholic but God was with me all these years looking back. Because I think I did give him my heart when I was at the Sunday school when I was nine. Because I remember saying to him when I was nine, I want to be a missionary when I grow up at this Gospel Hall Sunday school. Anyway, what happened was, when I was 33, I went to Dumfries to stay and uh, I met the Lord in Dumfries. I got a great conversion because um, I had started to go into spiritualism and Buddhism and uh, then that was really going down a bad road. Spiritualism is not good. It is not a good place to go to or Buddhism. Um, so I met born again Christians and they had three and four kids. I had one child at the time pulling my hair out with one child and they had three and four kids and I thought how can they cope with all these ways? And they, you know, they're so peaceful and loving and kind and genuine. And I seem to have more than them financially and less children and more, you know, good for me. Anyway, they told me that it was Christ in them, the hope of glory. They told me that they were born again. And I went to a little community centre in Dumfries. And when I walked into that community centre with one of these women, I met Jesus because I had the audible words coming home, coming in, ringing in my ears and in my heart coming home. While I was in that community centre, the tears just flowed. The tears flowed because I saw people who were very genuinely happy. They were hands up raised, praising God, tambourines. They were just like so shining for Jesus. Well, I was in tears, my whole life came before me. And then they said to me at the end of the meeting, would you like to become a Christian? I said, well, I am a Christian. They said, have you got Jesus in your heart? I said, no, but I'm still a Christian, I'm a good person. Well, do you know that you're going to hell when you die if you don't have Jesus in your heart? And I said, oh, well, I want to go to heaven when I die. He says, well, the only way you'll go to heaven when you die is if you've got Jesus in your heart. And I said, well, I think I want that Jesus in my life. So they led me in a prayer. So I prayed, the, pray, the sinner's prayer, you call it. And I called out to the Lord and I said, Jesus, forgive me for my sins. I'm sorry for all my selfishness. I believe you died on that cross for me. Please come into my heart. I was led in a prayer by the pastor and lo and behold, the light came into my heart and I was transformed. I had a great conversion. I went from a soul to a Paul and my maiden name is Paul. And I went skipping out of that community centre, that little Christian fellowship. I was born again, renewed, changed by the blood of Jesus. Everything was, the flowers were brighter, the, the grass was greener, the trees looked like they were clapping their hands. And I didn't even know in Isaiah, it says the trees will clap their hands. And I went, so, I was so happy. And I went home and told my husband, you've got to get born again, you've got to get saved or you're going to hell. What are you talking about? I'm a Catholic. I won't be going to hell. I said, you won't be going to hell if you're not saved. And he gave his heart to Jesus six months later. I was pregnant with my second born. 
Now I am a born again Christian, 29 years a born again, Bible believing, spirit filled Christian who travels for the Lord, who evangelizes, who intercedes for him, who goes on missions and I love him with all my heart. I love Jesus because he's the saviour, he's my helper, he's my shepherd, he's my everything. And if you turn to the Lord, he will save you from your sin and set you on the right track and give you a good life if you turn to the Lord. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. Turn to Jesus, please, before it's too late. I have been in many mission trips, many mission trips. Please, God, help these people. In Jesus' name, amen.